So the brand new trailer for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes just dropped a month ago. And I'm here today to analyze it and show you some things you may not have noticed. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The trailer starts off showing the logo for the Nintendo Switch. Now some people are confused as to what this means, but I think it means that the game will be playable on the Nintendo Switch. Later on in the trailer, we see the shot of people riding Pegasi. This seems to be confirmation that the game is fictional and does not take place in reality, as Pegasi are not things that really exist, believe it or not. In this next shot, you can see a man stepping on this plant, which bears a slight resemblance to a real-world plant called a flower. But could this flower potentially be the villain of this game? That would make sense as to why the man was stepping on it just before. And you can see part of someone's arm right here, implying that they died. Could they have died because of this flower? Next, we see this camera panning down on this blue sky, which seems to confirm that this game takes place on a planet that has an atmosphere. Next, we see a mysterious woman looking directly at the camera, implying that the camera is actually there and that maybe this story is told through some sort of documentary type setting. Next, the trailer shows us this young woman, who bears a striking resemblance to a character from the 2019 game Fire Emblem Three Houses. If you've played this game, you will instantly recognize this character as Lysithia. With the purple eyes and the white hair, it's obviously her. She can then be seen murdering dozens of people at a time, implying that perhaps she is the villain of this game. Or maybe she works for that flower we saw earlier. Earlier. She also creates this small gust of wind, which must mean that she is in possession of the Wind Waker, which is an item from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, a 2002 game for the Nintendo GameCube, in which a young boy named Link must save his sister after she is kidnapped. The next character shown in this trailer bears a striking resemblance to me. It's clear that after Nintendo watched my YouTube channel take off and hit massive popularity, that they decided to include me in their game as a way of promoting it. But they will be hearing from my lawyers about using my image without my permission. I then proceed to murder several people in this trailer, but these people were probably killed in self-defense so that Nintendo can avoid me suing them for defamation. The next character also looks quite familiar. That's right, you know him. It's Claude from Fire Emblem Three Houses. He then kills a lot of people, but he's pretty cool, so we can live with that. The trailer then shows this map, implying that this game does in fact have locations in it. Lysithia then says, You sit around and wait for a miracle? Which is a reference to the recent Disney movie, Encanto, in which the lyrics entail the main character singing, I'm tired of waiting on a miracle. So it appears this game will be tying in with the Encanto movie as well. Next, we see this dragon shooting a laser out of its mouth. Now, I find this incredibly unrealistic as real life dragons do not have the ability to shoot lasers. Then, we see Monica from Doki Literature Club. Then the trailer shows Mara from the Shin Megami Tensei series, and you hear Claude say, Now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. Meaning that he realized that Mara actually bears a striking resemblance to a p Then you hear a voice say, Revenge is not a sin you take for someone else. This voice sounds a lot like Morgana from Persona 5, and Morgana has confirmed on his official Twitter account that this is indeed his voice, and that he will be appearing in this game. So that means this game is also crossing over with Persona 5. I then look at my script, and I realize the words striking resemblance have been said far too many times, but I don't actually care that much to re-record. The trailer ends with the date, June 24th, 2022, which probably means that that is when this game takes place. Now you have to wonder, why did they pick 2022? Well, because that's when we will already be in World War 3, so it makes a lot of sense. Thank you for watching my analysis. Are there any details that I missed? If so, keep them to yourselves, I'm not interested.